And another has left Manchester City. Eloquim Mangala, the uh, allegedly £42 million signing, has left on loan to Valencia. I don't think any of us are surprised by this one. I'm a little bit good. I actually, well, probably one of the few people who actually like Mangala. I thought at times when he was in a reliable partnership with someone like Company, when he was focused and when the team was actually on it, I thought he looked really solid. We all remember when he pocketed Diego Costa and Zlatan Ibrahimovic twice uh, last year. He looked excellent and he was a big part of our initial run. But then he has fallen behind Otto. Mendy. He's fallen behind Kolarov, it seems, as well. And obviously, John Stones has come in and looked like a Rolls Royce of a player so far. So, this makes sense, really. It's a shame because, in general, he seems like a likable player. Uh, he's uh, He seems to care. He seems to be intelligent uh, in terms of what he says off the pitch. He seems to get on with the fans as well, from what I've seen in general, when he's interacting with them. But that just seems to be football these days. He, there is no space for sentimentality. And maybe his performances haven't quite worried the £42 million, pound, allegedly, that we spent on the player. And that's probably fair enough. You can't really have a player um, who's mid-20s and expect them not to be really at their, their highest level. And in, in, there are some questions about his overall suitability to Guardiola's style. Uh, John Stones is obviously a lot more uh, adept at the whole passing out the bat thing. Otto Mendy seems to have made vast improvements on that aspect of his game. And Vincent Company, as we know, is capable of that anyway. Kolarov as well seems to be turned into this kind of Beckenbauer ball playing centre back. I don't know where that's come from, but it hasn't really helped Mangala's kind of um, his uh, claim for a place in the team when uh, Kolarov is a much better uh, pass of the ball. And that's what, obviously what Guardiola kind of values. So Mangala's gone alone um, temporarily, obviously, to Valencia. I suspect he won't come back. I suspect maybe next year he'll move on like the likes of uh, Hart, Boney, uh, Nasri. These will all probably not come back either because I don't see them being part of uh, Guardiola's plans next year if they're not this season. It doesn't really add up for me. It's a shame, but that that's it. I, I don't, I'm not not surprised in the slightest really I suspect he'll do all right at Valencia he might learn to pass the football a little bit better over in Spain because it's a different kind of league but in general his game was uh, suited to playing up against big powerful forwards the ones like Ibrahimovic the ones like Costa but maybe he was exposed a little bit when he came up alongside the the nippier the more skillful the more direct forwards I remember Shane Long giving him a run around for example so there was some question marks in general about his overall suitability but I do wish him well there I do like the fact that it's also freed up space for tossing out of Rabaya another that seems to be ahead of the, in, in the pecking order which is nice because he obviously is a young man lad only 80 or 19 years old one or two he's only very young still um but that's good to see so eloquent wish you luck mate go go enjoy yourself alone in a beautiful sunny place uh, in valencia and blues what do you make of that uh, we'll be seeing back in the city shirt again probably not if you haven't already as well go and check out our reaction videos for the uh, boney nasri joe hart and the rest of them and i'm sure there might even be more soon anyway guys see you later <laughs>